Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, I am trying my luck out at Eagle Lake. Uh, this is a lake that's only about uh, 45 minutes outside of Calgary, east of Strathmore. Um, typically, it's usually a pretty good early season lake before the algae grows. Um, and also, I happen to know that uh, Bennett from the Mainstream Angler was out here just three days ago and had a really good day out here. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video from Bennett or haven't checked out the Mainstream Angler, uh, I will put a link down below. Please do so. Uh, Bennett's a, a young guy trying to make it work here. and. And uh, he's got some great footage and he, he's getting really good at editing. So I'd appreciate it if you guys gave him a look. Uh, anyway, first thing I noticed when I got out here is the water is really low. Now we have not had a lot of rain in Alberta. In fact, almost none. And so a lot of our lakes are really low, but I've never seen it beginning of the year looking like this here. So I'll show you something. Um, this shoreline is never looking like this at this time of year. This is pretty late season is when, when it starts to look like this. Uh, this water here, I would say, is down about a foot. So, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, like I said, uh, Bennett was successful out here, so I'm going to try my luck, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, let's get on the water. Literally one minute, again, and I got one. I got one. I got one, and I think pretty sure it's a walleye. That's what we're targeting today. That's what we're targeting. It is. Nice walleye, actually. Nothing wrong with that. Look at that. So there we go. First fish of the day. Got ourselves a beauty little walleye. Oh, it's not huge by any stretch, but for a first fish, that's nice. Um, and for being out here one minute, so we'll take it. One last look and gone. So a little bit about my strategy out here today, guys. Um, based on Bennett's advice, I am starting out, and I'm gonna switch it up later, but I'm starting out with just a single jig head chartreuse, and I'm tipping it with a minnow. I've got these uh, shiners, and I'm just running it through the tail. I find the tail is more sturdy than the head, actually, in terms of holding onto the bait, and then I put it back through again so that your hook is sticking out head first, which is like how the fish like to hit anyway. And uh, I'm just dropping that down. Now, all I'm doing is running that right on the bottom. So tossing it out, letting it sink to the bottom and uh, twitching it. And then for that one, um, I did that and then I just let it sit below the boat. So we'll see if we can get another one here. Um, the other thing is, even though it's shallow near shore, I did find a drop-off here. There's actually, uh, out where I am currently, there's a drop-off that goes from uh, four feet down to eight feet, and I'm fishing on the edge of that drop-off. Um, and that is about the only structure you're going to find in this lake. Other than that, it's relatively flat. So um, if you can find a ledge like that, typically it's going to be holding fish. Just had to move here, but hopefully you guys can see this drop-off that I'm fishing against. So up here it was four feet. Now it's coming down here to about seven or eight feet. It's this break that I'm fishing. You guys getting a bite? I got him. I got him. I got him. Another nice walleye. Barely hooked, barely, barely, barely hooked. Right just through the lip here. Oh, he got off. There we go, caught him as he got off. Let's get him in the water here. Gone. I'm definitely on the spot. I got another one. I got another one. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That one's a little bit bigger than the last ones. Not much. That one was hooked good. Um, Pretty easy to handle, but that's about an average size. I'll, I'll give you guys a measurement here just to tell you they're not huge here by any stretch. Um, 
That is a 18 inch walleye. So typically what you're gonna do here is catch them between 18 and 22 inches. All right, another one. Got another bite here, you guys. I got him. Ooh, that feels like a better one. Oh, I lost him. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, it's a pike, that's why. <laughs> of course it feels better, it's a pike. My first pike of the day. I'm gonna get the grips on that one. Not bad, he's skinny. Post spawn. Um. You know, people are split in Alberta between catching pike and catching walleye. That is a skinny pike. But I can tell you, um, pike fight way harder than walleye. That is four fish in the first half hour. <laughs> that is a pretty good catch rate, I have to say. I'll let that skinny pike go. Last little tiny smelt in here. Hardly even bait. And I am done for bait fishing. So, so far, 11 fish on that bag of bait. And uh, this one's actually in pretty bad shape too, but we're gonna give it a try. Can we get a 12th to close out that bag of bait? And then I'm going to have to switch to uh, artificials. And it is only 11 o'clock. I've only been here for an hour and a half. So I could have gone through easily three bags of bait today if I was just bait fishing. You guys, I did get one on that final bait. I'm pretty sure it's a pike. Oh, it's not. It's a walleye. It might be a decent walleye. That one surprised me. And there we go. One whole, that's the biggest walleye maybe I caught all day, I don't know. One whole bag of bait. Let's do my final release here on uh, my bait fishing. Gone. And now I'm gonna have to switch it up a little bit. So, I'm gonna have to get creative and uh, try out something new. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. And uh, I've decided to go with the Six Sense crankbait. I have never had a Six Sense uh, crankbait before. I won this one in a giveaway. This is a sunfish. And uh, I love the look of this thing. It's got big trebles. It's weighted. It's got a rattle. Uh, I love some lipless cranks. And so I am absolutely confident 100% this is going to catch me a fish. And uh, I look forward to trying this thing for the very first time. I just finished doing something crazy and that's with this six cents lure um that video is going to come out at next week and trust me you guys you are going to want to see it um needless to say i just caught my 19th fish <laughs> and uh so if you watch next week you'll find out what happened between fish number 12 and fish number 19 but uh, what I can tell you is that this six cents crankbait is magic uh, I'm gonna go back at it and what I'm gonna do is see if I can catch one live for you guys right now uh, just keep this rolling and see if I can get one
There we go. There we go. So, after I ran out of bait, I decided to use that six cents lure. And, uh, this is kind of a preview of what happened. So, uh, there we go. That's the nicest pike I've caught today, by far. That is fish number 20 for me. And in a second here, let's let me get this locked down. Yeah, that's a longer pike, skinny again, skinny. I don't know where the bigger ones are in here. But uh, I have only been here, you guys, for three hours and I've caught 20 fish. All right, you guys, so as I reflect on what was just my 20th fish, um, I am, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but <laughs> I'm likely only gonna show you some highlights from here on in. If I catch a really nice one, if I hit some landmarks like, you know, 25, 30, whatever, I will show them to you. But uh, the rest of this is gonna be extra footage because uh, I cannot fit all this in an episode. Um, I haven't had fishing like this since Eleanor Lake, so unbelievable. All right, everybody. So the bite has slowed down a little bit, not a huge amount, but it has slowed down. And uh, it's now, uh, I think I've been here about four hours, maybe three and a half. I just caught my 30th fish. Uh, no idea what it is. I've been catching quite a few walleye lately. This one feels maybe more like a pike. I can't actually tell on this one. No, it's a walleye. So the walleye are still active. And there we go. Still using that six cents. Lipless crank. All right, let's do the release on this one. Lots more fish to come out of here yet. I probably still have at least another three hours of fishing that I could do if I really wanted to. So let's go for 50. Nice. Uh, it's been a while since an update. Um, it's now uh, th just about three o'clock in the afternoon. I just had a break, went and grabbed some food and reapplied some sunscreen. Uh, this is fish number 40 for the day. Feels like a pike. Definitely feels like a pike. And maybe even a better sized one. I am wrong, it is a walleye. Well, that is an aggressive walleye. That's probably the most aggressive walleye I've had all day. Not the biggest, but definitely the most aggressive. So there we go. That is fish number 40 right there. And that's a beauty walleye. There we go. Beautiful fish. I'm not done yet. You guys, you can fish from Eagle Lake. From shore, <laughs> you just need some waders to do it. There's a pike over there. Still getting on some? Oh yeah. Yeah? Oh, nice, man. All pike though, no walleye today, man. Oh yeah, well, I think the walleye are a little deeper, eh? So. I'm trying to get my 50th. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. It is now 10 after four. And uh, this is fish number 50. I can hardly believe this. <laughs> what a day. I am starting to get tired, so this uh, string of fishing is going to come to an end. There is no question. I'm pretty sure this one's a pike for number 50. Nothing huge today. Some good fighters. This one's fighting really good. Probably the best fighting one I've had all day, actually. Oh, it's because he's tangled up in the line, that's why. But there it is. Number 50. I'll make sure to touch the leader here so I count as a catch. Can you stop rolling, please? What a day. What a day. Oh. 
Okay, everybody. This is gonna be my last fish of the day. Um, this is number 55. <laughs> and uh, I could catch more, there is no question. There's probably still three hours of fishing left in the day easily, given the time of year. Um, but I'm exhausted. The wind is coming up a little bit, so there's a little bit more chop than there was before. And I'm tired. Uh, there's a splash from the, the waves. What do we got to finish it out? A very nice walleye. Awesome. I'm very happy about that, closing it out with a walleye. Considering I came here to fish walleye today. Barely hooked. Can I get it? Yes. There it is. Oh, and the hook came out. <laughs> that is the last fish of the day. Oh man, craziness. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it. I'm tired, I'm get, trying to get packed up here, but man, what a day. I cannot believe it. 55 fish, uh, that's gotta be a record for me in Southern Alberta. Well, I know it's a record for me in Southern Alberta. That might even be uh, the most fish I've caught in Alberta. The only place that I would have done better than that was Eleanor Lake, and it definitely didn't include walleye. Um, also had another record for me today and that's going to be coming in the next episode which was also crazy um, so man one of the best uh, productive fishing days at least that i've ever had so glad you guys could share it with me all right we're going to close it out there that's been more than enough for today uh, remember guys if you like the video please smash that like button hit subscribe and until next time good fishing Let's get this one unhooked and back. Oh, I just got hooked. Thankfully not very deep. That's how easy that can happen. It's a good thing I was holding on to the fish or that would have been in me for sure, for sure. And those hooks on them six cents lures are sharp as you can see, ouch.